So I am Suresh. To those who do not know me, I am your colleague, and I am working in Flutter team. So let's uh, slightly go into the point. Like I am here to share my experience while developing Snake game in both mobile and web using Flutter stack. So before going to the snake game, let's see what is Flutter and what is Flutter web. So what is Flutter? Most of the people you have heard this name Flutter and you know this is useful to develop mobile applications. And this is the framework we use to develop mobile applica applications for Android and iOS. And it also supports for one more mobile OS. Do you know what was that name? Fuchsia. Yes, that was Google Fuchsia. So Chrome OS and Android are built on Linux kernel, but this Fuchsia is built on a micro kernel Zircon, named Zircon. So this Flutter is also useful to develop applications for Fuchsia. So this is a small glance about Flutter and it is not any more cross-platform. It supports multiple platforms. As you see there, it supports mobile, it supports web, it supports for embedded systems, for desktops, and everything. So it is not any more cross-platform. It is multi-platform framework. So what is Hummingbird? Yes, uh, Hummingbird is the research done by the Flutter people. Like the Flutter was initially released for the mobile, but they thought that it can be implemented for the web as well. So Hummingbird is the concept. They got this experimented their things and they are done uh, to like to run on the web, say using the same Dart programming language. So it is not full fledgedly implemented. Still, there are a lot of experimentations is going on. This Hummingbird is also known as Flutter Web, and it does not support any packages or APIs, and uh, the processing is also very slow. So this is a small glance about Hummingbird. And uh, we are a Flutter team, as we are Flutter team, we are very happy on announcing of this Hummingbird, because we are not any more mobile developers. We are all round developers. So. Coming to the architecture, so what about the difference in the architecture? Is the architecture is same for mobile and web? Obviously not. So there is a common part, but even there is a lot of differentiation. So coming to the mobile architecture, so the lowest level is engine, which is the core, and it will build the things and it will show the a complete layout and everything. So engine does not know anything about animations or uh, some painting or widgets or layouts. It just know it just knows text layout. Other than the text layout, it does not know anything. So engine is uh, made up of Skia, Dart, and text. So what is Skia? Does anyone know what is Skia? Okay, a Skia is a graphic engine. Uh, it was initially developed by the company Skia and later on it was handed over by Google. So uh, currently it was running under the control of Google and almost all Google products use this Skia. So even Flutter uses Skia. So text is the uh, widget layout which was used by this Flutter engine. So coming to the framework, so what was the framework consisting of? So the framework is structured as you see, but it is what I, I feel is like it is completely widgets. Widgets is the framework. So we have two types of widgets, stateful and stateless, where stateless is having some small text and everything. Stateful is having which can be rebuilt. Uh, like if you use set state, those are stateful, stateful widgets. And coming to the rendering, so rendering is uh, is the core actually. It it is the very important and crucial thing for the Flutter because uh, there is a hot reload which works based on this layer, rendering layer, and even animations, painting, and everything that can be handled by this framework. Um, and even we have some layout widgets like 
रो कॉलम दोज आर नॉट विजिबल एक्चुअली दे जस्ट बिल्ड द ले आउट ऑफ द एप सो दिस इज अबाउट मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन या इट बिल्ड विजेट्स एंड फॉर्म्स ले आउट एंड पेंट्स ऑन द स्क्रीन सो नाउ लेट्स जम्प इन टू द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ फॉर वेब फॉर अमिंग बर्ड सो दिस इज द आर्किटेक्चर एंड द टॉप मोस्ट लेयर इज कॉमन सो वॉट the team of flutter has done is like they thought that the same engine and same architecture is good enough to build applications for web and they have experimented and tried lot of times and they got failed so after a lot of trials they decided that we have to completely replace the engine so that's why they have replaced the mobile engine with this flutter web engine so what does this flutter web engine consists of so it consists of html dom elements canvas and javascript engine so the dart programming used by flutter it will directly converts to the js file using this engine so whatever the elements that can be represented using dom those are represented using canvas so using canvas we will draw the elements which are not represented by dom on the screen so how many of you are ready to go to your childhood the snake game what we seen in old nokia mobiles so now i am moving you all people to your childhood so are you ready to play the game yes okay fine so this is a snake i have used this snake as a points the shape rectangle so if i give shape circle all dots will be visible if i um cross the point like if i pick the point then i am adding it to the snake game like the snake length and i am increasing the size what happened my system is not working oh god what is this what is happening who is this guy hi okay hi who are you what was this i am struggling with hindi and i you are showing even chinese what i am the inventor of snake game okay a uh, good it is good but why you are you sitting in my new macbook pro so this is not good what happening shit shit is there some bug in this laptop Our Sanket is controlling this. <laughs> I want to play this game on web. Oh God! Okay, okay, let's play. But you should go from my system. Is that fine? Should stop controlling. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I got my controls back. Now let's play the game. so as i have already told that web is not full fledgedly implemented the processing is very slow and the same code like i have used same code base for flutter web so it is not as good as the mobile what you have seen so this is the shape circle so i have used shape a uh, rectangle but the width will be like it is it is very large and some probably some problem with that shape so that's why i have used shape circle in the web so this is of the web game is uh, now let's jump into the code so how do i code it so this is my main app uh, where my actual application starts and i have just called my game sorry so i have defined directions like what you have seen the controls at the right bottom so those are the four directions which i have used defined custom defined directions and i have custom defined state game state like failure start and running so this is a stateful widget and this is actual ui where 
that outer shape what you have seen this shape is an image that is an image box this is the image and then I have used a gesture detector see on top of this my state should change that is why I have used a gesture detector and I am handling the tab based on the gesture and I am getting the children based on the game state. So, this is the UI like the score box what you see the left bottom and this is the UI for directions like in the right bottom we had four directions for the four directions like this is the code. So, on click of that button I am setting the direction using set state. So, with this my UI is done and how I am handling the tab. So, see this is my handle tab function where I am using the game state is start and jumping directly my game to the run state. If it is running I am doing nothing. If it is failure I am again setting the game state to start. So, this is the code to for run state to go from start to run state. So, star snake. So, star snake is like, see if I click on this, my snake is starting from the center, from the midpoint. So, this is the midpoint based on my container V handle. Right? So, midpoint minus one and midpoint plus one. I am starting with three circles. So, that is what the star snake is and generate a new point. I am randomly generating a point that I am picking up. So, this is the generate random new point function and then I am setting the direction initially to up and I am setting the state to running. So, this is my set state based on the game state I am setting that state. So, these are the children's based on the state of the game I am uh, showing you the children's differently. So, if it is my start state, game start state then I am making the score 0 and I am displaying the chain game start chain. So, this is my game start chain. Here, tap to start the game, do not touch walls. The message what you have seen. This message. So, next, uh, going to the running state. So, I have just added simple points with the positions and I am getting the latest point and I am adding that to the stack. So, going to the failure state. So, I am just displaying your score. Tap to play again. If you see, tap to play. So, this is my failure state. This is like on time. Dip. Each 400 milliseconds, I am moving the snake. I am just uh, removing the point from the last and appending that at the beginning. So that the snake shows like it is moving, but it is not actually moving. So, here are the directions that I am setting. Head state to the first one. So if it is right, I am increasing x plus one. If it is up, increasing y based on the x and y coordinates. So this is what my code is. So what you have seen till now is that's like a prank, and this is the actual game that is running in the mobile. It is very smooth in the mobile when compared to web. If if we uh, we we can expect like more a uh, lot more modifications in the web, and then we can even implement like smoother in the web. That's it. So. Last point, um, I, I have observed a lot of meetups and a lot of conferences where most of the people will end up their discussion like they uh, talk with some code. So I just want to give a small quote. This is the quote. So treat every Monday as your first working day and work with the same excitement, then no one can stop from creating wonders. This was actually I have been some Thank you. Good stuff, really nice stuff. Okay, so here's the challenge for the React Native devs. Uh, I know there are a lot of people on bench.